Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to be looking at some pressurized explosions or smoke simulations like this one. And this one in particular has this axiom freshness to it. I know it's a smoke sim, but it just feels fresh. Look at it. it has that axiom freshness vibe. So we're going to be, we're going to be looking at this. We're going to be also looking at cannon fire like this one and then we're going to take a look at wedging the cannon fire because usually a ship would have more than one cannon and this would be a fast way of creating a whole ship worth of cannons or cannon fires all right let's get into it all right so i actually showed how to do this smoke explosion from scratch in the cathedral tutorial so please do check that out but I just wanted to show it again because it's such a simple and effective way using Axiom to create these very good looking smoke explosions. So I just wanted to show it one more time in its simplest form. And yeah, so here we have the collider. It's quite important because this will use uh, pressure to create that explosive force going outwards. It's the same logic that a lot of Hollywood explosions use. You can see they have a collider that pushes everything out, like here. So they have a charge inside with explosives, and then this is going to act as a collider and push everything outwards. So we're using the same logic here. Then we have our emitter, which is just a simple source shape with a directional force applied, and we are emitting everything from uh, uh all, we're emitting all the fields here i only have one switch that will kill the emitter after frame 30 just in case even though i'm animating all the values down so after we do this we have our vdb collider we plug everything in and we simulate let me get back a bit so we can actually see Super easy and simple. Now, like I wanted, like I said, pressure is what's driving most of this. So let me put this to one or maybe one, two. Oops, it's going to be a bit faster to iterate. So we are sourcing pressure here. If we don't source pressure, it's still going to explode, but it's more it's going to be more of a puff. And really what's driving this puff right now is mostly the magnitude from this directional force. We could add more fuel and fuel will create combustion, which will create pressure, but we can also already source pressure. So let's go to five and pressure will balloon up and push everything out. Right. So that looks pretty good. Uh, and you can see how fast it is even and it looks great right at, even at lower resolutions axiom will have that axiom freshness to it and it's going to look pretty good so you don't always have to go to hundreds of millions of voxels uh, to do good looking simulations all right so let's go to 15 and that will explode it even more it's going to have it's going to take some time to think obviously now this almost look looks like that cannon fire, right? And we are using the same logic with the cannon fire, to be honest, uh, just emitting a lot of pressure. But that's how pressure will work in this situation. That's why it's good to have colliders uh, to use this logic. So apply it with your own explosions. Um, I think it's quite valuable to, uh, to think about it in this way of using colliders for for explosions or any kind of effect that you're making. 